Welcome to Ruby Thursday. I'm Melissa Wanish. This is Ruby Snack number 68, Scheduled Tasks, Testing Active Job. In this episode, we'll take a little step back so that we can get our job all ready to go as we explore different options to schedule our jobs. In this episode, you'll learn how to write a test for a background job, and that job is going to send an email. If you'd like to code along, you can clone the Ruby Thursday example app with this branch. The branch is set up Ruby Snack 68. I needed to bring back in some code after we had a guest host. All right, here is a job to test sending some newsletters. In Ruby Snack 63, we set up a job called Send from the Bridge Newsletter, and it did nothing at the time, but now it's going to do something. It's going to send newsletters to our hackers. That's the model we have in this app that has an email address. If you're using this in your app, just remember it's whoever has the email address that you're sending to. Before we run the test, we're going to clear out our action mailer base deliveries, and then we'll do it afterwards as well, just in case, so that our whole test suite will run correctly. And here's our example. It sends a newsletter to all the hackers. Again, aka users, whatever has an email address. For testing a job, you run the job now. So it'll be sent from the bridge newsletter job dot perform now and you need to feed in anything you need. We're gonna feed in our list of hackers and we're gonna expect there to be five emails ready to go out. Here we are in our text editor. Let's go into our spec that was generated when we generated the job last time and let's put in what we are going to test for that example to send those newsletter emails and save. Now let's run our spec and make sure that it fails, that the spec itself is written correctly. So we'll run our spec, spec, jobs, send from the bridge newsletter, job spec.rb. And it fails. Yes, we're expecting it to fail, not to send five emails. Now let's edit the job so that it can send those emails So we're going to feed in hackers into our perform method. And for each hacker, we're going to call from the bridge mailer dot send newsletter. We're going to feed in the hacker and then we'll deliver now. Going into app and then jobs and then send from the bridge. Let's put in that new perform method and save. Now we'll run the spec again. And this time I'm expecting it to not know about that mailer. We haven't created that mailer. So let's scroll on up. And indeed, it's saying, oh, I don't have that defined for me. It's an uninitialized constant. Now we'll go ahead and generate that mailer. We'll call Rails G mailer from the bridge and then the method send newsletter. Then once it generates that mailer, all we're going to change for the purpose of this demonstration is we'll feed in the hacker into the method send newsletter. The next step would be, yes, to create the newsletter. But for today, we're just going to have the default method. Back in our terminal, let's run our generator to create that mailer. It's going to create the mailer and the views and the test. And we're not going to change the mailer layout. So we'll just put no there. And let's go ahead and feed in hacker into send newsletter. And we'll just leave it those default for the green high and mail to example just for now. All right, we're running our test again. And this time it passes. As a special bonus, I'm going to go over a refactoring option for you that I'm going to try out with a client who is having some issues sending one of these newsletters to lots and lots of people. The code I just gave you would work for a couple of people or if you added more workers. But what if you want to send lots of emails and not increase your resources? One thing to try if your job is timing out is to make smaller jobs. Thus, we're going to send our emails later. So in fact, we're creating more jobs with our initial job. That's right, the send from the bridge newsletter job will actually be creating as many jobs as there are hackers. So instead, our test will need to test for additional jobs. So we'll change our before do to clear out any jobs. Now we're going to expect there to be the same number of jobs as there are hackers and we set up a list to have five hackers. And then in our job, instead of deliver now, we'll deliver later. Here we are back in our text editor. Let's edit this to instead simply clear out the jobs. And now we will change our expectation. Instead of emails, we're going to expect jobs to equal the number of hackers, which is five. And now we'll deliver later. 
Let's go ahead and run our spec again to make sure that it is still passing. And it does. That's it for this episode of Ruby Thursday. If you are not already on my mailing list, head on over to rubythursday.com to sign on up and check out older episodes if you're new. If you are not subscribed on YouTube, you can click that big Ruby there to subscribe. And here are some other videos that you might be interested in. YouTube subscribers get the episodes just a little bit before everyone else. If you have any comments or questions, it's best to leave those on YouTube. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.